Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, a few months ago, the New York Times wrote an article entitled, quote, fraud is flourishing in Zelle. The banks say it's not their problem. The article features the story of Bruce Barth, who was in the hospital for COVID-19 when a thief stole his phone, accessed his digital wallet, ran up charges on his credit card, took cash out of the ATM, and made a money transfer via Zelle. Bank of America reimbursed Mr. Barth for losses associated with his credit card and ATM, but not with the losses associated with Zelle. Uh, according to the article, after being contacted by the New York Times, Bank of America ultimately relented and reimbursed Mr. Barth for the losses associated with Zelle. Since the episode with Mr. Barth, uh, my question to Bank of America, has Bank of America adopted a policy of reimbursing BOA Zelle customers for losses caused by unauthorized users or fraud? We have a policy where we, uh, if a client of ours sends money to another client in defraud, we will uh, take care of that because we should have let the other person in. And, and frankly, that's the kind of work we're doing as an industry. I, I think just you weren't here earlier, but the context of Zelle fraud is it's lower than check at our company, claims for fraud. So it's, it, it, and so we are working hard as industry to take the fraud out of the system among all of us by working together because inside the Zelle platform, it's another bank customer. And we actually kick banks out of Zelle who don't have the capabilities to assess their I, I just want to make sure I'm understanding the answer, though. If, if there are losses caused by an unauthorized user or by fraud by a Zelle, a BOA customer, to a BOA, yes, would you, a, a situation like Mr. Barf's, would you reimburse? If, it, if the situation is what they call me-to-me -me account transfer between a customer and a customer, we will reimburse. And then across the industry, we work to, with our other colleague institutions to do the same thing. What if the victim is only a customer? Then the other institution where the money went tries to recover it, and we work it through. We, we reimburse a lot of the fraud. The, the, the headline I mean, suggests it's, it's, that... The headline. The, the headline suggests it says the bank says it's not their problem. So the headline suggests I, that the banks deny. I will tell you. Let, let me let me let me ask my let me let me ask my question. Not, it, it, let me ask my it, question. I have to reclaim. The banks. The article claims that the banks deny that it's their responsibility. So I just want to ask all the owners of Zelle. Uh, do you acknowledge that your bank, as a partial owner of Zelle, has responsibility for combating fraud on Zelle and reimbursing Zelle customers for losses? caused by unauthorized users and fraud. But let me be precise. Let, I'm, I'm going to start with um, U.S. Bank Corps. Yes. If the cr customer's credentials were stolen and they did not transact, we will reimburse in that situation. Thank you for that clear answer. Uh, PNC? Yes, you're describing a traditional fraud that is covered under Reggie and we would cover it. Yes. Yes. J.P. Morgan? Unauthorized is generally covered. And I, I don't think Citibank is an owner of Zelle, but um, do you want to Try to give me a clear answer. I gave you one. Unauthorized uh, transactions are covered. You asked for something else. Mr. Rogers? Unauthorized transactions are covered. Mr. Scarf? The same. Unauthorized transactions would be reimbursed. I have a question about cybersecurity. So with the Russian invasion of Ukraine comes a heightened threat of cyber retaliation from Russia. Has your bank seen an escalation in cyber attacks on the financial services sector? I'll Start with U.S. Bancor. We have not. We heightened our alerts, but we have not seen any uh, indication of an attack. PNC? The same. J.P. Morgan? I have to give the United States government credit. We're working closer to banks. We expected a lot. We have not seen a lot. Very little bit, but that doesn't mean it's over. Citigroup? We have not seen that in the United States. Bank of America? We haven't seen a major increase, but the question is what happens next. Truist? We've not seen a major increase specifically related to that. Wells Fargo? Uh, the same answer as my colleagues. And I'm just curious, just uh, what's the size of your budget for cybersecurity in each of your banks? A PNC? I don't know off the top of my head. I'm, I would assume it's close to the side of, size of U.S. banks. J.P. Morgan? $700 million directly and a lot more indirectly. Citigroup? Um, the same, almost $800 million. Bank of America? <laughs> Roughly $1 billion and a lot indirectly with our partners. Truist? It's several hundred million dollars, but directly and indirectly. And Wells Fargo? Approximately seven to $800 million. And my time is about to expire. Thank you. Thank you.